Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to talk about CSS Grid Layout Module. So, the CSS Grid Layout Module consists of column and also rows. So, the Grid Layout Module makes it easier to design web pages without having to use the float and the positioning property. So, we can use the Grid Layout Module and we can easily design web pages where we can have the header and also the side menu and main content area and also the right side and even we can create the footer of our web page so now we're gonna create the grid layout so first of all we're gonna create one div with the class container and inside the container we're gonna have the child div with the class item so we're gonna have item 1 item 2 item 3 item 4 item 5 and also we're gonna have item 6 so inside the parent container we are having 6 child element now inside the style tag we're gonna select the container and we're gonna use the display property as grid so now our container will behave like one grid container and now we can use the grid template column property so the grid template column property is used to define the number of columns our grid layout is going to have so we want to have three columns so we're gonna use auto auto and auto so because we want three column layout that's why we are using auto auto and auto so the auto will make sure all of the three columns will have the same width so instead of using auto we can also specify the width of our elements using pixels and now we're gonna set one background color of our grid container of light blue and also we're gonna add some padding of 10 pixel now to style the child items we're gonna select the item and we're gonna add some background color of green and also we're gonna add some padding of 20 pixel font size of 20 pixel and also we're gonna add the margin of 5 pixel and we're gonna use the text align of center so here we have created the three column layout by using the grid layout module so similar to the grid template column we also have the grid template row so the grid template row property will define the height of the different row so we can have the height of the first row to be 100 pixel and the height of the second row to be 200 pixel so you can see the first row is having the height of 100 pixel and the second row is having the height of 200 pixel so this is the way we can use the grid layout module and we can design our web page without having to use the float and positioning property so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you